What's good, people? What you're going to see in this here video is essentially two videos, or not two videos, but two encounters wrapped up into one video. Because, uh, how can I say this? They're kind of related, but also kind of not. And if that confused you, don't worry. Sit back, relax, and I'll guide you through exactly what I mean. So, obviously, the first encounter is on field content. And once again, obviously, I have the M82. Cool. What is there to do? Well, the container is up there on the hill. But do you know what else is on the hill? A person. Don't be an idiot like me and stand up as soon as you get a kill. That was a whole mistake. But this is the part where we're going to skip forward a little bit. That airdrop carrier, he's going to leave. But I'm going to run to his exit to make sure he leaves. Six minutes and 50 seconds later, I hit the detector. And what do I find? Well, I find exactly four red dots. One of which near an exit. And the other two are somewhat near me. And that one in particular holds my interest. Well, these two over here? Yeah, I, I don't know what they're up to, but yeah. So like I said, the two that are near me, I'm going to go over there and investigate. Vigor survival tip number 427. When someone hits the detector and you're in an area, assume that they're coming after you and don't stay in the same area. Because if you do, well, you saw it just happened. People, I always try to tell you all that as long as you survive, that's all that matters. Yes, that is true. That is like the requirement, survival. But if you run around for a combined total of about 8 minutes and you don't find a single person, it is what it is. Some encounters be like that, right? But for those encounters where you actually get someone and get their loot, it makes that encounter a little bit more special. So yeah, this is a decent result. You know what I'm saying? Roughly 2500 experience. Let's go on to the next one. For this next encounter, we're going on a sawmill. And... You can probably guess how this is going to play out, because if you think about it, sawmill is just forced with a sawmill. Four minutes go by, and then someone grabs an airdrop. So y'all know me, y'all know what exactly what I'm about to do. I'm about to run a guy down, because even though y'all didn't see it, I did put overweight and radiation on an airdrop. So this guy is running to his death, either by radiation or by me and he grabbed the airdrop pretty much near the top of the map so the exit he's going to take is pretty uh pretty predictable if you will so even though he's overweight he may not have anything on him because you know new player sees red chest new player grabs red chest new player leaves or tries to new player did not do anything else but grab that red chest with an airdrop in it. Oh. Don't tell me. He's dead. Someone's already up here. 
and I hear them. They're up here. The more astute of you will probably have realized the guy that you just saw get uh, destroyed by my AURA-1 is not the same guy that I heard up here. People, let me tell you how many minutes have passed. Nine. Nine minutes passed and y'all heard the guy walk up there near those rocks. I shot at a couple bushes, did not get shot back. Homeboy killed the guy that's up here carrying an airdrop. And I never heard him leave. And like I said, nine minutes have gone past and I didn't hear a single soul. So me, with my one kill, tells myself, you know what, bruh? You're not going to find that man. Might as well go ahead and leave. So I was trying to get, I think, two, if not three. Oh, well, that happened. I was trying to get some fuel, but the game said, nah, I'll do it for you. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.